Personal electronic transit devices are the crux of the micromobility revolution. If you live in a metropolitan area, you have probably already seen electric scooter and bike rental services like Bird, Lime, and Skip accumulating on every street corner. In the long run, though, it is always cheaper to buy your own scooter, especially given the abundance of cheap electric scooters available on Amazon. In this video, we've compiled a list of the top 5 best budget electric scooters. So let's get started. Number 5. Glion Dolly Foldable Electric Scooter. The Glion Dolly is a full-sized electric scooter that has a unique self-standing design that allows you to comfortably tow it along with you to places that you wouldn't carry other scooters. Rather than sport a conventional kickstand, the Dolly has small runner wheels that allow you to roll it like a piece of luggage, hence the name. It can be switched from Dolly to scooter mode in seconds. Simply use the lever and pull up or down then make sure it locks into position. The adjustable handlebar locks into position tight and is indicative of an overall high build quality. The scooter still weighs 28 pounds so it's not like you can hop up a flight of stairs just because it's in dolly mode, but it still makes a difference if you have to bring it on a crowded train or bus. And while it's mildly fun to tote the dolly around like a piece of luggage, the real reason you're reading this review is probably to find out how the scooter handles. With a 250 watt motor the dolly doesn't have a very robust acceleration but that is typical of e-scooters of this class. Once it gets going it can reach a top speed of 15 miles per hour but this could be reduced depending on how close you are to the max rider weight of 255 pounds. The motor also struggles with inclines of 20 degrees or higher regardless of rider weight. The Glion dolly has two 8-inch honeycomb tires that are basically maintenance-free. They grip the pavement pretty well, but they don't provide proper shock absorption. The Glion Dolly's control scheme is a bit unorthodox but still easy enough to figure out. It has a twist throttle on the right for accelerating and another twist throttle on the left for braking. Where it gets confusing is that the right twist throttle is variable speed while the brake twist throttle is on off. So while you can gradually accelerate into full speed the brakes immediately engage in full so stopping feels a little jerky. Number 4. Razer EcoSmart Metro Electric Scooter. Some may write off the EcoSmart Metro preemptively because it is made by Razer the same company that kickstarted the push scooter fad of the 90s. While Razer actually makes many high-quality e-scooters and the EcoSmart Metro should be at the top of your list if you are looking for an inexpensive scooter with a seat. The cushion seat post is the standout feature of the EcoSmart Metro as it makes longer rides much more comfortable. The seat post also houses a detachable rear fender and luggage rack. The rack is great for carrying a few school books or a bag of groceries. The wide foot pad makes it easy to sit however you find most comfortable. Because the EcoSmart Metro has tall 16-inch pneumatic tires and positions the driver facing forward it almost looks more like a compact e-bike than an e-scooter. However its lack of pedals and slower acceleration really make it apparent that this is still a scooter when you ride it. Even with a stronger 500 watt motor the EcoSmart Metro is sluggish to accelerate because its frame is weighed down by large lead acid batteries. It does reach an impressive 18 miles per hour top speed but it takes a few seconds to get there and struggles to climb hills just like a smaller scooter would. Number 3. Segway 9bot Kick Scooter ES2. Robotics company 9bot is an absolute juggernaut when it comes to personal transportation devices. Not only does Ninebot own the Segway brand, but they also provide their electric motors to numerous competitors. You'll even find their hardware in the Xiaomi M365 and other e-scooter reviewed on this list. Most of Ninebot scooters are well outside of the target budget of this roundup, but their Segway Ninebot Kick Scooter ES2 is pretty much in the ballpark. It forgoes some premium features but makes up for it with pure performance. The ES2 uses a front shock absorber to make for a smooth ride when crossing rough terrain. This e-scooter has solid rubber tires which are maintenance-free though typically less shock absorbing. The front shock pad helps make up for this. The front tire is 8 inches and the rear tire is 7.5 inches. The ES2 has zippier acceleration than we saw from other scooters because of its 300 watt motor. If you want the max performance you'll want to put the scooter into sport mode which sacrifices some of its 60-minute battery life for improved acceleration. 
It won't go faster than 15.5 miles per hour in either sport or normal mode, but if you want it to go slower you can set a manual limit in beginner mode by setting it up through the app. Segway does make an expansion battery which increases the max speed to 18.6 miles per hour. Number 2. Gotrax XR Elite Electric Scooter. The Gotrax XR Elite is a performance-focused scooter that offers great speed and solid battery life at the cost of a few luxury features. The main reason you'll be interested in this scooter is its 300-watt motor which gives it significantly more pep than previous-gen scooters that run on 250 watts. The scooter runs in two gears, this electric scooter obviously does not have a transmission. Gear 1 is Eco Mode, which caps out at 10 mph and saves power for longer rides. Gear 2 caps out at 15.5 mph and is ideal for short commutes. The XR Elite has two 8.5-inch air-filled tires that provide some light shock absorption but this scooter is definitely not meant for off-roading. The tires will need to be replaced after a few years of riding so if you are intimidated by maintenance then you may want to consider a scooter with solid rubber tires instead. The XR Elite uses both an electric ABS brake in the front and a manual disc brake in the rear to provide some very quick braking. The electric brake is very sensitive though so it does take some getting used to. They are activated by a brake lever and they use regenerative braking to send power back to the battery. The battery life is another strong point of the scooter with Gotrax advertising a max 18.6 miles of travel off of one charge. In reality this figure will vary a lot based on road conditions rider weight and weather. It charges in about 4-6 to six hours and you can easily track the remaining charge with the onboard LED display panel. Number 1. Highboy S2 Electric Scooter. The second version of the Highboy S2 electric scooter shows marked improvement over the original model namely in the form of added horsepower and improved braking. It is overall well built but its sturdiness makes it one of the heaviest scooters we reviewed at 34 pounds. It is comfortable to ride because of a padded standing deck and handlebars that accommodate riders of most any height. The scooter's solid 8.5-inch honeycomb wheels don't need to be air-inflated which is great if you fear maintenance but not so great if you need to ride on rough sidewalk. Thankfully the Highboy Max has a shock absorber built into the rear so you have some basic suspension to cushion bumps but it's still rough. One of the best qualities about this scooter is its high max speed of 18.6 miles per hour. When you pair this with its respectable battery life you can get decently far off a single battery charge. The 350 watt motor is stronger than other scooters in the same price range, but this doesn't translate to any extra acceleration or torque because the scooter's frame is heavier as well. The scooter has an LED dashboard that displays basic information such as your current speed rider mode and battery level. The Highboy S2 supplements this dashboard with the Highboy app for Android and iOS. This app is the only way to cycle between the beginner intermediate and advanced rider modes, which have different max speeds. It is also used to toggle the headlights check the battery power and toggle the cruise control. There is even a system self-check so you can anticipate maintenance that needs to be done over time. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like this unbiased review. And please don't forget to subscribe us to get the news of upcoming reviews. Stay tuned.